This is Judge Joe Brown, and we're listening to We All Be News, News Free Dixie for the 21st century. And so somewhere, uh, I've been blessed. Play just opened up on Broadway. Yeah, Turn Me Loose. Yes, sir. Huh? Uh, your play called Turn Me Loose, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. And, and brilliant people in it. The one man play. Mm hmm. Uh, so, you got Joe Morgan. Mm hmm. I haven't seen him, but what my children call me and I crying. Said, We lived with you all our life. Wow. And we went there just to see your play. We know you. And we saw you. Mm. We saw you. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Huh? And and so when you stop and think about, and the producer is John, what's his name? John Legend. Yes, sir. Legend. Mm-hmm. And eight of the people that had something to do with it all won Oscars and Tonys. Wow. I had nothing to do with it. Wow. As somebody saying thanks to me, I can't say I don't deserve it because it didn't come from the church or, or white folks. It's come from the universe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And they say it is something else. Well, Bob Greg, I want to ask you a question about the play, which I yes. find fascinating. I have this, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it myself and making plans. But who chose the date of May the 19th to have your play open? I have no idea. I had nothing to do with it. That's Malcolm X's birthday. That's your friend's birthday. Huh? That's Malcolm's birthday, May 19th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have no idea. I had nothing to do with it. I didn't write it. Huh? <laughs> yes, sir. Nothing to do with it. That's universal law. Maybe Malcolm's spirit did. Wow. And also, Baba yeah. Gregory, I just, you know what amazes me about you? You're, like, you're so humble, you're so accessible. It never fails when I turn on a TV or listen to a radio or a podcast or whatever. Your name pops up everywhere. It's like you everywhere. You omnipresent. Well, like let me just say something and we get back to what you just said. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine called me the other night. And they went to see the player about mm -hmm. LBJ. Mm -hmm. Well, it's LBJ, right? Right, right, right. So they sit the there mm -hmm. and the curtains pull up and LBJ walk out on the stage and his first words is, I wonder what Dick Gregory's saying about me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, 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 I'll stop laughing. <laughs> but you see, let me let me just say this to you. Uh huh. Somewhere I found out that celebrity status is a violation of God. Okay. That's why most of them have to be in a perverted sex and alcohol and drugs. I'm 85 this year. I ain't never smoked a reef in my life. Wow. Hmm? Yes, sir. I used to drink a fifth of scotch every day, four packs of cigarettes every day. Top weight went up to 365 pounds. Wow. And then one day I said, come on, hold it, hold it. Now, let me tell you two things. Mm-hmm. When I was working for five dollars a night in the nightclubs, wasn't nobody in there but working black folks. When I wasn't even funny, and they tolerated me long enough for me to be one of the funniest comics that ever lived, yes, and they pushed me downtown where black folk couldn't afford to see me. Mm. So I said, okay. I've always been in the phone book, never had a bodyguard, and I always come back because black folks made me. Hmm? Black folks made me. And let me tell you something about Hefner. Hugh Hefner, when the mob owned 99% of the nightclubs, Hefner, when a black comic couldn't work a white nightclub, you could sing, you could dance, but you couldn't stand flat-footed and talk to white folk because then they didn't know how brilliant you was. And because Hefner, one man, mm -hmm. called Dick Lehman, and now, uh, the whole world have changed. 
You got black producers of movies. You got black writers. You got black everything. Yes, sir. Because of one man and one little nappy head black man from St. Louis, Missouri. Huh? Changed the whole plan. Hmm? And so when you stop and think about it, look at the money Will Smith had made in movies in Hollywood. Yes, sir. Uh, and so when you stop and think about it, all them movies, all them producers out there, all them folks, one man with courage is the majority. Hmm. And so all I say is, thank God. And uh, Leo took care of the children. I've never wrote a check in my life. Every nickel I get goes through her. If you want me on the show, who you got to call? I call Sister Lillian, your wife. Not Lillian. no white folks in New York right. who determine, well, who are you? Brother? How far your show go, huh? Mm hmm. And so that's what it's about. And I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. 